and as we can see the rain has just started to fall in time for my morning cycle um, I'm going to be going on to Launceston there's uh, the route that used to be the A30 which is now um, a quiet route it used to be the main route into Cornwall but since they've built the new dual carriageway it's a bit quieter less cars so I'm going to try and go on that and go to Launceston as far as we can towards Cornwall so see what happens just cycling along part of the National Cycle Route 3 which is always nice when you find these things so we've got a nice riverside track Why should I know, why should I care That a tiny little thing Like the sun will once be gone I'm sure it won't be until long Besides you and I will both be gone <laughs> This has not been a quick day These hills in Cornwall Oh, you definitely notice them more when uh, you don't negotiate them just by putting your foot on the pedal a bit harder. They are serious. So, I'm still not in Hampton yet, and it is half past four. I've got to go up, I think it's Appledore Hill, which apparently is a killer, so got to get up that and then, um, then towards Launceston, so this is tough, this is a tough part of the journey so close yet so far right just coming out of Oakhampton on the granite causeway that runs alongside the railway here um, should be I think I'm 20 miles outside Launceston and it's 10 to 6 so not making great time today but getting there slowly but surely I think I'm going to try and do the old day 13, about four or five miles, then find somewhere to camp. Hi. as I planned because I had a little bit of a disaster on the road. I hit a pothole when I was looking at a road sign and my backlight smashed. So the sun started to set, I'm low on energy and I just thought it's best to pull in if I see uh, any sign for camping, which I did. And it's a lovely spot, as you can see, set up behind. And this is the view. So pretty much near the Cornish border, I think I'll be in Launceston in about 10 miles or something like that. So tomorrow up nice and early, still think I can make it to Truro tomorrow. We're nearly there, it's starting to feel like the final stretch which is pretty exciting. So on we go tomorrow and Land's End maybe in a few days, oh my god, that'll be a welcome sight at this point because my knees are finished. Alright, I'm going to get some rest.